Welcome back to another episode of Hot Fixing the NFL, the series where we take each team from the NFL and apply a hot fix or a day one patch, if you would, to the team, ironing out the worst issues on the team, just kind of making them ready to start into a competitive season. The uh, Tennessee Titans are a team that's very near and dear because I uh, completed a full franchise series, six or seven seasons with them, and I had a lot of fun. To be fair, I really enjoyed watching them on the draft. Uh, all the off-season uh, stuff and uh, the draft has been worked into this roster file, and that's what we're going to be looking at. Uh, when I started, the offensive line was a huge problem. It was complete trash, and we really had to rebuild it from scratch. Um, only a few players really were usable. Nicholas Petit Frere, for instance, or Peter Skaronsky. What I do like to see is that Lloyd Cushenberry the third is here. He will be a great center addition. I like seeing JC Latham here. Peter Skoronsky is fantastic. Not so sure about Brunskill. Not so sure about Nicholas Petit Frere, even if he's not quite old yet. Um, I love Chico Conquo, but at the time, the tight end room is not looking too hot yet. Um, looking at the wide receivers, I think that's fantastic. Absolute great. We've got DeAndre Hopkins. We've got Tyler Boyd. We've got Calvin Ridley. Trailer Burks, great, great players, great uh, receivers for Will Levis to throw to. I really, really love this. Uh, he was He's fantastic. He's such a great quarterback. Really enjoy watching him as well. Uh, Tony Pollard and Ty J Spears. Uh, we've got Hassan Haskins, Julius Chestnut. In the running back room, personally, I would focus uh, on uh, the offensive line here. Again, if you've got a solid offensive line, you are pretty much good to go. But the tight end uh, position is also one that I might be taking a look at. Everything that's 70 rated needs to be considered and checked. That's just that's just the way it is. Um, as far as the defense goes, uh, again, a lot of great changes were made. I really, really enjoy this. Um, Ljarius Sneed, one of the best corners in the game now here, 90 rated. We've got Chidobi Woozy over there, another great addition. We've got Roger McCreary and, uh, and Caleb Farley. So really nice uh, cornerback setups. I really love that. The strong safety um, is Amani Hooker. Great stuff. Carter is the backup uh, over here. Elijah Molden behind him. Good Jackson. Um, the linebackers looking solid as well. Harold Landry the third. I've got Gibbons. I've got Kenneth Murray Jr. It's actually a player that I brought into the team um, in the franchise series, which is absolutely hilarious. That is now there in real life, but he's just a great dude. Um, and Arden Key over on the left outside linebacking position. Um, and down here on the front three, we've got um, <clears throat> Justin Simmons, we've got Sebastian Joseph Day, and then we have Davidson, who I'm not really that big a fan of, but all right. So basically what we will have to do is we will have to improve certain positions. I think the left edge is a position of great need. Um, we're going to be diving a little bit more into the detail and the depth charts as well. Um, or, or more or less the depth per position to see uh, how that is uh, playing out um, and if there are positions that are really kind of understaffed and uh, that are going to have problems once once uh, some injuries arise. Uh, the cornerback, uh, quarterback position is not a position of need. Uh, the running backs, not a position of need. The fullback, all right. Uh, wide receivers is a great group of players. We could cut it down a little bit to create space, but not going to do that right now. Um, the tight end is okay-ish, apart from Nick Vanette. I do not understand this. Uh, but Chig is okay. Josh Wiley is okay. I think I'm going to leave this. Left tackle, great addition. Nothing more to add. I really uh, appreciate Peter Skoronsky. He was fantastic. At center, Lloyd Kashmir, the third is genius. Right guard, Daniel Brunskill. Yeah, this is this is not a good situation. I used still in uh, Rodunz for the uh, most part, uh, but Daniel Brunskill is certainly not a player that I really want to see here. So we might try and improve this one here, or we can just use still in Rodunz. Um, and on the right tackle position, uh, Nicholas Petit Flair, Nicholas Petit Flair, and Andrew Rupsic. So I personally probably we could try and just uh, keep Brunskill but use Redunce. Um That should help us. Uh, and Nicholas Petit Frere is also worth the consideration. But then again, 70 overall is not really that much. 
All right, on the defensive side of things, Marlon Davidson, 25. Now, this is this is absolutely looking horrible. Uh, this is looking better. Right edge is fantastic. D-tackle is super solid. I also like Tim Sweat, the addition of the rookie from the 24 draft. Very nice. Uh, left outside linebacker, Arden Key, a veteran. Oh, that can't hurt. Rashad Weaver was decent. Caleb Murphy, all right. Kenneth Murray Jr., that is fantastic. Jack Gibbons. And Cedric Gray, that's another rookie. Right at side linebacker, Harold Landry. I'm missing a little bit of a depth situation here, to be fair. Um, we've got three left outside linebackers, uh, three mid linebackers, but I need two uh, starters. Uh, right at side linebacker doesn't have a backup. We can we can get that done pretty quickly. We've got six uh, six cornerbacks here. That is that that's a boatload. But again, I kind of think that this does make sense. Free safeties. Not out of this world, but then again, we are not trying to change everything about a franchise immediately. And then the strong safety position, same thing. Uh, yeah, now we're going to be going through the positions. Um, I will be looking at them and we're going to be making some changes. And uh, yeah, we'll see you either while doing the changes or once we've completed doing everything. It was a dire need to get the uh, left edge situation sorted. I really think that John Franklin Myers is a great addition here. Uh, we're giving up quite a lot of draft capital, not too crucial for the next draft in 2025, 2026, uh, third round in 2025 and rather late rounds in 2026. Don't think it'll hurt as much as we gain from this one here. All right, so here we go. A hot fix is not a full blown rebuild. A hot fix is intended to just iron out the worst problems on a team. So hence, I didn't change Nicolas Petit Frere. He's 24. He's decent enough. He's got very solid strength ratings. I really feel like with the uh, with the other players over here adding a lot of solid uh, power to this offensive line. I think that this side will also be able to hold their own. Dylan Redon, same thing, 73 overall, but way younger than Brunskill, which is why he's going to start out here. I think that's an important choice to make. On the defensive side, we added John Franklin Myers. Uh, we did use some draft capital for that, but again, I fully stand behind that choice. Uh, it was super important to get that done. Um, and now we have a very, very aggressive front three with a very good uh, D-tackle here, a very, very good right edge, and a super solid left edge situation. Uh, we also plugged some holes on the backup uh, player situations here on the uh, linebacking group. And especially um, on uh, on the midline backing group, pretty happy with that to be to be fair. Um, and I really think that this defense is, while it might not be the most crazy defense, it is a very solid defense. Uh, we still have some space, so we could we could bring in some free agent players. I didn't want to do that uh, on purpose. I just think you know. This team is pretty good. I think one additional player is is quite a realistic addition uh, for a team like the Titans. Um, and I'd rather have him focus on playing great offense. But there you go. So again, as always with these videos, let me know what you think of the changes I made. What would you do? Would you have done something differently? Which player would you have changed? Which player would you have brought in? Just type it down. Uh, type it out down below. Let me know what you think. I uh, always enjoy reading that stuff. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, do drop a like. Consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. Thanks so much for joining me. Really much, much, much appreciated. Take care. Stay awesome. See you next time.